seven, three, two. So we're on the Esplanade. It's we're flooding and rain. it's flooding. There's like rivers being formed. It's raining. So much and it's rain. now rains in our street. Fog everywhere. It's not really much visibility. Okay. It's totally <laughs> funny. It's getting worse right now too. So the Grand Canyon is in a flash flood warning zone right now. <laughs> so he said, "Call if it doesn't let up tonight. You come again." It just is so much water. We're SRAM, Solid Rock Outdoor Ministries. We've spent the last 30 years training people to be leaders in the wilderness. This time, we're taking a group of SRAM veterans on their own course into Red Rock Canyon and the remote Grand Canyon to go deeper and live 15 days in the wilderness. are our stories in the camp. So we're here in Red Rock Canyon in Nevada, just outside of Las Vegas. We have world-class rock climbing here. People literally travel from around the world to rock climb here. I think this course will be like my 180 days in the wilderness, working for Strom. I have never done desert stuff. I'm very more like a mountain, mountain girl. And so this is really new. So I haven't climbed red rocks like sandstone. My name is Chelsea Van Essen. Woo -woo. And out here people call me Bubs. It was my first nickname, and I love nicknames. But I got it one of my first courses. It was with a bunch of freshmen and college girls, and it was like bubbly, like you're really bubbly. <laughs> and so I totally nixed, you will not call me Bubbles, right? I was freaking out. So it turned to Bubs. And so Bubs has stuck around as like, you know, the trail name kind of thing. This course is a bit of a surprise to me. This was not initially on my radar for this summer, but my name is Keith Dinese. With this being an alumni course, it does look a little different than some of our regular SROM courses. So like expectations for sure, mm -hmm. and communication is a huge piece of those things. Yes. Um, leading these people who have taken SROM courses before and have these competencies already um, is very unique, very fun, um, and then like really valuing their input. Personally, I do really well with not knowing, but I don't like to be rushed. Okay. <laughs> uh, they're not, they've been around the block. They're seasoned, and it's fun to be in a community like that. It's very different. I, I know I love this, and I know this is like a part of my gifting is instructing, and so there's a joke of like, and I hate being filmed. We're going with the exposure route over the cesspool. <laughs> so if you fall, you fall. Don't. Okay, well, let me, let me start this off. Talk to them. <laughs> It's gonna sound so forced. <laughs> so cooking in that country is so fun. I love it. Like cooking is one of my favorite parts of the strong course. To handle the food is where we put you in your food group. It's like it's thrown to be a meal amount per the amount of people in your group. And with cooking, yeah, there's some fun things you can make. So when we give the students a lot of options and like a lot of resources to work with. So there's just a lot of pure like batter or like dough like, or wheat, like a baking mix. And you can make scones with that or cinnamon rolls or pancakes or crepes or pizza or rosemary little um, biscuits. I'll chop freshies, get my freshies in there. And while I'm doing this, water's getting hot. Water's hot, dump it in the bag, seal it off. And then on cold nights, you can like hold the bag and it's really warm. <laughs> Can't wait to cuddle up with warm couscous. Um, yeah, cooking's always a blast. Love laughing when people get big fireballs. Um, a little less eyebrow. Whether you're on like a seven day course, a 10 day course, three days by yourself, or 40, like it's like just life transformation happens. And um, 
that's why I love I love I love instructing. I love doing this because you literally just get a facilitated happen. I'm sort of throwing out some of my ideas of what we believe and think will be important for our community in this course. So intentional communication. Yeah. Okay. I was just gonna say, how about agreeing to uh, all have grace on each other? Crush it. My helmet looks good. So you like literally get to this edge and like looking down, you're like, we're gonna go down <laughs> that, like. Then we're gonna lay down right here so your feet will be up. His hat off his back. It's uh, 8.50 in the morning. I feel like I've sweat through my shirt already. I have people's brows. I look at them just like yeah. just streams of living yeah. water, basically. I've never not finished a dinner on a strong course until that night. I don't know. It's not normal. It's turned into this perfect <laughs> breeding ground for scum and filth and sin. There's a lot of things that I'm struggling with in terms of the culture. What does it look like to walk with Christ? What does it really look like to be in the world but not of the world? Like when you have so much input in a course, you need time to like settle into that. There's very much a desperate part of me that wants to hear and know, well, what are you saying is the next step? I'm tired of trying to write my own story.